Here I have my DIY weighing scale which I built for only about $8 and next to it I have commercial weighing scale that costs around $60. That's a huge price difference. Can this low cost DIY weighing scale actually match up to a professional one? Well, that's exactly what we are going to find out. I'll be testing the accuracy of my DIY scale by comparing it to the commercial scale. To make this test as fair as possible, I have a set of known weights that we will measure on both scales. By the end of this video, you will be able to see the results and decide for yourself if building a DIY weighing scale is a good idea or if it's better to stick with a commercial option. So without any further delay, let's get started. This is my setup from the previous video. I haven't made any changes to the hardware. I'm still using the same steel plate mounted on a 5kg load cell or strain gauge. The load cells, four wires are connected to the HX711 amplifier board and another set of four wires connects the HX711 to the Arduino Nano. Here we have the I2C supported SSD1306 OLED display module for the connections. Just follow this circuit diagram. After looking at the circuit diagram, you probably have an idea that the hardware is exactly the same. You will see these same connections everywhere because these are the basic connections needed to connect a load cell HX711 amplifier board and SSD1306 or LED display module to the Arduino. To make this DIY weighing scale compete with a commercial scale, I reprogrammed the Arduino from scratch. The previous code was pretty basic. It measured some weights with high precision, but for other weights, it either showed a bit more or a bit less than the actual value. The accuracy of a weighing scale depends on its calibration. When I calibrated it with a 1 kg weight, it gave slightly incorrect values for higher weights. And when I calibrated it with a 5 kg weight, it became less accurate for lower weights. This inconsistency was really frustrating. To solve this issue, I defined two calibration factor values, one for lower weights and another for mid-range weights. Not only that, but I also calibrated the scale from as low as 0.01 grams all the way up to 5 kilograms, covering every level. This was important because in the past when I added small weights like 250 grams or 50 grams on top of 1, 2, 3, 4 or 5 kilograms, the readings would be a bit off. With this new approach, those issues are gone. Now, you might be wondering what the zero factor is. Let me explain. Without setting the zero factor value, you can't get accurate results. You need to define this value at the start of your program. To find the zero factor value, I used a separate program that lets you manually zero the scale. This setup is very important because if you don't manually zero the scale, you will get incorrect readings. When you run this program, make sure there is no weight on the scale. Different values will display and you can choose one of them, copy it and assign it to the zero factor variable in the main program. I've explained how to install these libraries in the previous video. If this is your first time working on a weighing scale project, I highly recommend watching that video. In that video, I covered everything from the basics, including how a load cell works and many other details. Anyway, I have already uploaded this program and now let's watch this in action. Let's measure all these weights on this commercial scale first. I'm going to start with 100 grams. The scale shows 102 grams. I'm not sure if the issue is with the weight or if the scale is reading it wrong. Let's see how it reads the other weights. Next, I will check 200 grams. The scale shows 192 grams. This time it's showing 8 grams less. Earlier it showed 2 grams more. We will find out in a bit when I check these weights on my own weighing scale. Anyway, let's check the next weight. This one is 500 grams. This time, the difference is quite a lot. You can clearly see it shows 486 grams, which is 14 grams off. It seems like the scale's calibration isn't accurate for lighter weights. Let's check the next weight. Here is 1 kg weight. The scale shows 978 grams, a difference of 22 grams. This scale is not good for the shop owner because a 22 gram difference can cause bigger losses over time. Let's check the other weights. 
Now, this is 2 kg. The scale reads 2.082 kilograms, showing 82 grams more this time. It's clear that this scale isn't calibrated correctly. If it were, there won't be such big differences. Anyway, let's check the next weight. Here is a 3 kg weight. The scale shows 3.088 kilograms, which is a big difference. I wasn't expecting such a difference in a commercial scale. Let's check the next weight. This one is 4 kilograms. Now, the scale shows 3.9 kilograms, a 100 gram difference. Earlier it was 88 grams over, and now it's 100 grams under. This time, let's measure 5 kilograms using the 3 kilogram and 2 kilogram weights together. As you can see, the scale reads 5.172 kilograms, which is 172 grams off. That's a big difference. Now, we will find out if the problem is with this scale or with all the weights when we check them on my DIY weighing scale. So, let's start testing. All PCB is not just one of the fastest PCB manufacturing companies in the world, but it also has high quality and amazing prices. For only $5, you can get single or double sided PCBs up to 150 by 100 mm in size. This is great because most companies only offer sizes up to 100 by 100 mm. With all PCBs 150 by 100 mm size, you can make multiple PCBs on one board saving money by paying just $5. To order, click on PCB code. Click on Upload Files. Select your Gerber files in a zip folder and click Open. The system will automatically find the number of layers and the dimensions. Choose the number of PCBs you want to order. You can leave everything else as it is or you can change the settings if you want. Next, select your country and click Code Now. To save more money, you can change the shipping service. When you are happy with the price, click on A to Cart. Here are the PCBs I received from all PCB. The quality is excellent, the text is clear, and the solder mask looks great. If you want to order high quality PCBs like these, click on the first link in the description below. We'll start with 100 grams weight. On the display, you can see it shows 99 grams, just a 1 gram difference, while the commercial scale showed 2 grams more. Let's check the 200 grams weight. On the display, it shows 197 grams, which is close to 200 grams. On the commercial scale, it was 192 grams, which was an 8 gram difference. Let's check the 500 grams weight. This is amazing. It shows 499 grams, just 1 gram off. On the commercial scale, it was 486 grams, a difference of 14 grams, my scale only has a 1 gram difference. This accuracy is possible because of the calibration. Let's check another weight. This is a 1 kg weight. Perfect accuracy. On the other scale, it was 978 grams, a difference of 22 grams. On my DIY scale, it's exactly 1 kilogram. Let me take it off and put it back to show you there is nothing tricky happening. As I mentioned, this accuracy is due to calibration at different levels. Let's check the next weight. This is a 2 kg weight. The display shows 2.007 kilograms. Again, simply amazing. Only a 7 gram difference. For a 2 kg weight, a difference of 5 to 10 grams is acceptable. On the other scale, the difference was 82 grams, while on my DIY scale, it's just 7 grams. Let's check the next weight. This is a 3 kg weight. You can see it shows 3.006 kilograms, which is very close to 3 kilograms, just a 6 gram difference. This is nothing, even a difference of 10 grams would be acceptable. On the commercial scale, it was 88 grams off, that was too much. Let me take it off and put it back to check if it still reads the same 3.006 kilograms. It shows 3.006 kilograms again. This scale is working perfectly. Let's check the next weight. This is a 4 kg weight. This is mind blowing. It's showing 4.004 kilograms, just a 4 gram difference. 
when we measured the same weight on the commercial scale, it was off by 100 grams, while on my DIY scale, it's only 4 grams. Now let's measure 5 kilograms using the 3 kilogram and 2 kilogram weights together. As you can see, the scale reads 5.001 kilograms, just a 1 gram difference. On the other scale, it was off by 172 grams. In terms of accuracy, the DIY weighing scale is the winner. The programming approach I used for the 5 kg load cell can be used for other load cells too. So, that's all for now. Support me on Patreon for more videos. I hope you liked today's episode. Like and share this video with your friends. See you in the next episode. And thanks for watching.